This is the magnificent work done by the residents here at Mount St. Mary. They are artists in residence. And Robert Amos, well known in Victoria as an artist himself, is one of the people who guides these artists. He says magic happens here. Is it possible that people who don't consider themselves artists and have no confidence in what they're doing can make things which are demonstratively beautiful and fascinating to other people? Of course it is. Robert has been leading these artists for 14 years. He's clear that he is not an art therapist. He doesn't know the ailments of the residents at this complex care facility. I just know that coming and paying attention to people makes everybody feel good. It's like watering the flowers. And uh, for me to bring my uh, adult intelligence to be engaged with uh, people, uh, not in any patronizing way, is, uh, it, it's, it seems like the high point of their week. For many years, Susie worked as a cookbook illustrator, working in black and white. Robert has introduced color to my life, and I love it. Now, she has chronic and progressive MS. It's a wonderful opportunity here at Mount St. Mary to be able to paint, and many people come in and are inspired. I love that. <laughs> at the beginning, there was easy to apply poster paint. Residents here individually specialized. Some of them had a background in watercolor painting and really understood the medium. Uh, others of them, whose maybe their fine motor skills are, are no longer available to them, uh, appreciate the uh, boldness of painting with acrylic paint. I'm a firm advocate of providing these people with the finest artist quality materials. It takes such an effort for them to make the artwork that you don't want them to waste any of their efforts on inferior materials. Ooh, that's coming out nicely. Mm, it's rich. This is maybe too dark, I don't know. Is this painting relaxing for you? Very. Very, especially at first. As I work, I get tired. Robert works alongside various volunteers. With the residents here, I really get a sense that they're getting something out of it. Uh, it's improving the quality of life. I still have a, a love of the arts and some basic understanding of technique and practices, so I've been able to apply that to my volunteer position. A third year UVic student, Tim sees a connection with his psychology studies. It's very much worthwhile, yeah. I mean, the sense of satisfaction I get out of it, as well as just the experience in dealing with people, has been invaluable. Margaret was a public health nurse for many years and has just discovered painting. Robert's a good teacher. <laughs> I'm pushy. I like it because it brings back many memories of the, our farm at Quinell. I had four Canada geese as pets. Did you ever imagine you'd be saying, I'm Margaret the artist? No, no, <laughs> not at all. I'm just happy to be doing. If you haven't got $56 million for the original Van Gogh, you could hardly do better than buy this painting by Elsie Jerusalem. It's a social club. We, we, we have a directed activity. It has manifested results, and we enjoy each other's company. I'm Daphne Good for Go on Shaw TV.